Hello, this is Joseph Gillette Sr. with Venture Capital Cross coming to you live from our new production studio in Knoxville, Tennessee, talking about private equity, venture capital, private markets, and everything related to that. In this video, I want to touch on something which is that size matters in private markets and just the differences between the institutional market and the individual investor market. And that is that mostly private companies who sell their shares in the secondary market, or actually not the companies, but the shareholders who sell their shares, are typically done so in large blocks. And the reason is uh, mostly because as companies grow, your 1,000 shares or 100,000 shares is going to be worth millions of dollars over time. And the time horizon in these companies is usually very long, 5, 10 years, even more. So if you invest 50 or 100,000 in a company and then 10 years later it's worth a million, you're going to sell a million dollars worth of your equity and you like to do it with a single shareholder. You don't want to do it with 20 different people, right? And that's not always the case, but most of the time that is the case. So if you have a direct block that means actual shares in the company, direct, it's probably going to be 500,000 to a million minimum. Now, having said that, we've done direct purchase with 35,000 was the whole size. In some cases, there's a transfer fee of 5,000, so that's usually cost prohibitive, and a larger fund is not going to want to buy 50,000 worth of stock of a company. Uh, but it is possible, especially if it's a hard to find name. But the point of this video is to explain that there's sort of the direct market which is the million dollar plus market where you're noticing the company, you wait 30 days for Rofer. Then you have an SPV market where a fund will buy millions of dollars of stock and then resell it to individual investors and they may have a $100,000 minimum. For more hard to find names, that's gonna be 250,000 minimum, but for something like Epic Games, they may have a $50,000 minimum because it's uh, more accessible and there's more shareholders so the turnover is uh, larger so they can do things like that. All investors have to be accredited. It's not about that. Uh, they call this a retail market but 100% of investors have to be accredited and it's not really an issue to check the accreditation of investors because if you have 100000 cash, liquid, to invest in private markets, chances are you're going to have accredited status because uh, the current rules are uh, 200000 a year in income for two years or 300000 joint with a spouse or $1 million dollars in net worth excluding your primary residence. And so if you've got, a, let's say, $1 million dollars in cash in your IRA, you're probably accredited. Your income is probably pretty decent to have saved that. and. So, um, but that's really the one rule, investors have to be accredited. So this is not about that. This is just talking about the market architecture and microdynamics. So when you're going to buy, let's say, any company in private markets, if you want to use SpaceX like an example because it's pretty well known uh, because of the rocket launches, getting a small amount of really any hard to find company, if you want to use a different one like Databricks, is going to be pretty hard unless you find a SPV fund that sells shares in smaller sizes. Uh, and that is possible and they are out there and that's what Venture Capital Cross can do is help you find a fund which sells shares of these companies in small sizes. A very popular company has been Grok and also Scale AI in the AI like alternatives to the big open AI which has had bigger check sizes. So there are options for investors but generally these are two separate markets and these two markets don't always exist for a company like for example a company may not have an SPV market so uh, we have one investor in particular and he has a fifty to hundred thousand dollar check size and he's got plenty of money he's well over accredited it's not that but he really doesn't like to put all his eggs in one basket. He's kind of like people do for their stock portfolios. He wants like a little bit of many, many private companies. And the problem is that we can't always find, let's say, um, Scale AI or Grok 
in really small sizes. Now, in those cases, we were able to find an SPV fund for those companies that um, had a lower minimum, but it's really a case-by-case -case basis. So, But that's what we do is we find those companies and that uh, are more accessible. And there's also a scenario where if there's a lot of demand for a name and there's not an offer out there with a low minimum, we might approach some of these funds and say, well, this is a good idea. Uh, there's a lot of demand here. Maybe it would make sense for you to create an SPV and offer um, smaller minimums uh, for those uh, investors. And it's a pretty good business because most of these companies are unicorns. So if your company is a billion dollar valuation, you've really proven yourself to the market in a sense that you've got revenues, you've got employees, you're doing something right. You're not just a seed startup. Uh, the seed startup is really the more kind of risk concern. Uh, everything is risky in private markets. It's, it's not saying that there's, there's no risk. There's less risk in a bigger company because they're more proven. At least that's the perception of the market. So in private markets, size matters. In a lot of cases, if you want to invest in some of these companies, you might need to have a million dollars and there's just no alternative. There's no other way to invest in these companies. And that is a big barrier. That's a, a capital barrier. And there's also logistic concerns that is something that Venture Capital Cross can help with. But that's why people aren't just flooding money into private markets because there's all these barriers. Barrier number one is you might have to have a million dollars. Barrier number two, you might not be able to find any seller at any price, as is often the case with SpaceX. There's just no sellers because everybody is bullish on the company. And that, that's been true of AI companies as well last two years. So uh, that's some of the dynamics of private markets. It's not saying that this is not like a black or white, good or bad type of thing. It's just the nature of private markets. So this is just something to consider with private markets investing. Obviously, if you have a stock account and you trade public stocks, you can put $100 in 100 stocks. You can't do that in private markets. And you can look at blended funds, but it's not really a, a thing. So just something to consider. If you do invest 100000 in one company, you better have a very good conviction about it. So it's not so easy to diversify in private markets unless you have tons of capital. And most of the venture funds and the big players in that space, they do. And so just something to consider. We look forward to seeing you in other videos, which you can find on VentureCapitalCross.com or VCCross.com. Thank you. Have a great day.